The general reading room, now known as the Dean Room, is the building's most commanding interior space, and its prominence is significant. While not the first library to contain such a space, Miller's design reflects a major shift in how libraries functioned. Previously, academic libraries were essentially storage facilities, open to faculty only a few hours per week. But Cornell's library building was designed to accommodate a collection of 400,000 books and to provide a convenient way for people to access and use those books. Built in the natural slope of the site, no book in the library was more than 120 feet away from the service desk at the west end of the general reading room, the same place where today's circulation desk is located. Cornell may have had the first American university library intended for extensive use by undergraduates as well as faculty, thanks to the vision of its first university librarian, Daniel Willard Fisk. Cornell's library was open nine hours a day, longer than any other library in the country. Hours were extended even further in 1885 when Cornell's library, then located in McGraw Hall, became the first American library in the country lit by electricity. The library may have been open, but books did not leave the building. From the beginning, the library was conceived as a non-circulating reference library. Only later, after conducting a survey of other libraries in 1908, did Cornell agree to allow books to circulate for the first time. By then, the stacks were already becoming overcrowded. Lack of adequate space for books and readers became a frequent source of contention over the next 50 years, and space pressures were not remedied until Olin Library was built in 1961. Renamed in 1962 after Harold D. Uris, a graduate of Cornell's class of 1925 and a Cornell trustee from 1967 to 1972, Uris Library was designated as the undergraduate library, so undergraduate students would not have to compete with graduate students or faculty for resources, services, or study space. The Dean Room in Uris Library is named for Arthur H. Dean, an Ithaca native, Cornell alumnus, attorney, diplomat, United Nations delegate, and Cornell University trustee. He and his wife Mary provided funds for the renovation of Uris Library and the building of Olin Library. Thousands of rare books and manuscripts were also added to the library collections as a result of their generosity. To foster a love of books and reading among Cornell students, they also began the library's first undergraduate book collection contest, which lasted from 1966 until 1989. That contest serves as the model for today's Cornell University Library and Library Advisory Council Book Collection Contest. The Dean Room is now, as it has always been, a reading room where one can study quietly or take advantage of traditional library services. It is also a hub of new activities. Card catalogs have been replaced by computers and wireless connections make access to Cornell's digital resources possible throughout the building. In the northwest corner of the Dean Room, there are portraits of Ezra Cornell and A.D. White. They are joined by portraits of Cornell's past presidents, which proceed in chronological order as you move counterclockwise around the room. A historic building, Uris Library embodies the useful and the beautiful. Elements of Cornell's history are preserved in its architecture and artwork. As you tour the building, we hope that you can appreciate Andrew Dixon White's belief that in his words, the library is the heart of the university, the culmination of all.